Ezekiel chapter 28 The word of the Lord came to me once again, saying, Son of man, speak to the ruler of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, Because your heart is proud, and you have said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of gods in the heart of the seas. Yet you are but a man, and no God, though you make your heart like the heart of a God. Behold, you are wiser than Daniel, no secret is hidden from you. By your wisdom and understanding you have amassed riches and gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom in trade, you have increased your wealth, and your heart has become proud because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have set your heart as the heart of a God. Behold, I will bring foreigners upon you, the most ruthless of the nations. They shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall bring you down to the pit, and you shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, declares the Lord God. Furthermore, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone adorned you, sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, emerald, and carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of your settings and mountings was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were an anointed cherub who covers, I placed you there. You were on the holy mountain of God, you walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created until unrighteousness was found in you. By the abundance of your trade, you were internally filled with violence, and you sinned. Therefore, I cast you out as profane from the mountain of God, and I have destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom by reason of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I put you before kings, that they may see you. By the multitude of your iniquities, by the unrighteousness of your trade, you profaned your sanctuaries. So I brought forth fire from your midst, it consumed you, and I turned you to ashes on the earth in the sight of all who saw you. All who know you among the peoples are appalled at you, you have become a horror, and you will cease to be forever. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Sidon and prophesy against it. And say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Sidon, and I will manifest my glory in your midst. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I execute judgments in her and manifest my holiness in her. For I will send pestilence into her, and blood into her streets, and the slain shall fall in her midst by the sword against her on every side. Then they will know that I am the Lord. And there shall be no more for the house of Israel a briar that pricks or a thorn that hurts among all the neighbors who have treated them with contempt. Then they will know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, When I gather the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered and manifest my holiness in them in the sight of the nations, then they shall dwell in their own land that I gave to my servant Jacob. And they shall dwell securely in it, and they shall build houses and plant vineyards. They shall dwell securely, when I execute judgments upon all their neighbors who have treated them with contempt. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God.